hello everyone in this video we will see how to extract some content from an email okay so let's uh, use power automate a builder so let's explore some of the artificial intelligence stuff in power automate so in, if i open this power automate this is a landing page on the left side you can see aa hub here just click this AI hub and here you can see uh, prompts, AI models, document automation etc. Okay, so I am just clicking prompts here and in this prompt you can see uh, summarize text, extract information from text, classify text, all these things. So here uh, I want to have a custom prompt. Okay, so I will take this one so here uh, it, we can change the name extract email content okay so write or paste your text here okay so we can uh, ask this because these are based on the azure open a <coughs> okay so click add if you can add you can add some text or whatever here so okay first what i will do uh, let's create uh, i want something like extract employee name comma employee skills or expert or expertise comma salary previous salary and designation from we can give some input here so so, so from something we need to uh, get this right so I will give here sample data so data used here add data we can add data we can input some uh, define the input parameters at a copilot apps or something if i click add uh, we can give here sample data here name of your input so this i will give email body and sample data uh, i have a, a previous uh, sample email here so i will copy this email I'll just paste this email here okay so now let's add this from I can add from email body here these are like variables here so I want to extract employee name employee skills or expertise previous salary and designation from email body here I have provided the sample data now let's test the prompt if the prompt is giving us exact values uh, extracting like employee name employee skills then our prompt is uh, correct if it is not working let's modify that prompt okay now test the prompt so now see based on the email body here are the extracted details employee name sarah johnson employee skills or expertise digital marketing strategy all they have given previous salary here see not explicitly mentioned in the email but her starting salary is per year designation marketing manager okay so we got uh, a complete extraction of whatever values we want from the sample email okay these these are all coming from the uh, Azure OpenAI LLM okay now I want this data in JSON format okay so I'm just modifying the prompt and here I'm mentioning in JSON format okay now again I'm testing the prompt let's see how the output will come see employee name something like this we get okay 
so the json structure captures the employer's name designation skills previous salary as requested okay so in uh, you can also ask uh, many other uh, questions uh, or prompts here okay so it is just like a chat gpt kind of thing <coughs> which uh, microsoft power automate is providing which helps us uh, to include some of the ai capabilities in our products okay now i will save this custom prompt here so my prompt name is extract email content okay so it's saving the prompt okay and i can see the prompt here now i will go to my flows i will create a flow here i want an automated cloud flow so here i will search for the email so when an email is uh, uh, when an email arrives we have select this one as a trigger here okay so when an email arrives so what we need to do we need to uh, just email so check anything is there related to these emails uh, see more here we can see export email get attachment forward all these get emails get email is there okay so get email click add an action we can convert this get email to html html to text okay html to text create new and we, we, we can provide here uh, this get email body here okay now everything will be con uh, html uh, if anything is there in the email it will be converted into text here so now here html to text now add an action go to a builder go to uh, classify text create text with gpt using a prompt okay select this one so here uh, we need to select the prompt extract email content okay so email body so email body will come from this html to text here so html the plain content text we will get okay so once you get this uh, create text with gpt using a prompt uh, we can use compose and we can just try to see the text coming from the uh, or the response coming from the uh, gpt using a prompt okay so now test this save it okay message id is required get email so message id so message id here you will get from the when an email arrives message id okay save it some warnings are there but still it's fine okay i think save no errors warnings just warnings we have so open operation okay uh, the create gb reason from doesn't have a context to block it the create text how to fix the create uh, okay this is fine flow cannot be activated because a builder trial or capacity is required okay we need some kind of a a builder trial or capacity is required so what we can do is let's save this and uh, go to this uh, you can start our action trade in the a builder build page the a builder build page okay make dot 
let's extend the trial here so this is the a I have here and here we have extended trial okay now this is fine so let's test now test it so test now just send an email to the we have an email here so I'm sending email to myself here with the sample one which I have created so new email so here in the two guiding words shape point okay so here I'm click test I'm giving the email okay now I'm sending this to myself let's see how the flow will run so the email so I, I the, we have created the trigger with email arrives okay so we need to wait some time and this action will start so this is a new UI so it's taking some time so now see here when a new email arrives get email version HTML text we had uh, everything we got create text with GPT using a prompt let's see one by one here so when a new email you can see the data is something like this we got get email is giving some message ID and some kind of a body similar to the above one uh, which is in html format so we convert that html to text now so see now here uh, we are getting this outputs body nicely with text here okay so this text we have provided to this gpt and we got something like this in the body okay so it is coming into the JSON format in the compose we can see the outputs which are in the JSON format here